Hey guys, this is Ronnie, Ronnie's PC Talk, just uh, giving you some heads up. Happy Valentine's Day! That's right, big heart right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I'm a big old clown. Hey, listen, here's one thing that's not a clown, man. Um, if you guys haven't been watching, our president actually came out with a budget report. It's uh, the remix, that's right, 2008, he was saying the same thing. And for those of you guys who haven't done your research, go look at the video logs. He was saying the exact same thing, maybe a couple tweaks here and there, but man, I'm kidding you not. He said the same thing. Here's one thing that he's not going to show you, though. Believe it or not, the president on videotape said that if he does not cut the deficit in half, he will not run for re-election. He lied. That's right. He lied. He's actually going to run for re-election right now, and he didn't come close to uh, cutting the deficit by half. Just so you know, guys, for those of you who said, well, they can't get nothing because Congress is stonewalling everything. Really? You're wrong. Let me say it again. You are incorrect. They actually had the Senate for two years. In fact, they had the House for two years, actually up until this past two years. But you know what's really odd? They can't seem to get anything passed in the Senate. But if you look at the productivity in the House, it's actually pretty good. The House seems to be listening to the American public. But of course, media is not going to tell you that. They want you to focus on one thing. Congress. Congress is, what can I say? AOL, man. Absent without leave. In fact, We've got a president that seems to be punting everything down the road. I mean, really? Look at what's going on. He's doing it again. He's saying that this tax, uh, you know, this tax a rich thing, uh, we're going to do it all the same. We just went through that back in December, and now we're going to bump it up another year. That's right, because of the elections. So all the hard decisions, you'll notice that nothing's going to happen in Washington because they know, they know that if they make any hard decisions right now, they're done. In fact, if you're voting, I want you to pay attention to this because if I'm wrong, hey, tell me I'm wrong, I get it. Go look at the, go look at the track record. They're not going to go on their track, track record because nothing got done. Now, there were some positives, some negatives. Yes, they did get Bin Laden. Yes, they did get a Lockheed. But you know what? Those were actually started by Bush. That's right. Oh, and waterboarding yeah I know if you hold somebody's nose it feels like they're drowning they can't breathe yeah waterboarding it actually caught some of those things for those of you guys that are really whacked out there look it took both of them okay you gotta be fair it took both of them one without the other never would have happened anyway so let's get back on track this this budgeting thing okay so the bed the president says that he's actually gonna cut the budget by about $4 trillion within the next 10 years. Really? It kind of reminds me of wimping. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah, really? Mr. President, you're lying. Okay? You, no, seriously, you are. First of all, you're, 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 you're asking us to believe in something that you said that you were going to do about in 2008. And you haven't done squat. That's right. You really, your administration has done everything. Here's what they did do. They did increase the um, size of government by almost double. What? You didn't think I knew that? I bet you guys didn't know that. Yeah, they've actually increased a lot, dramatically. Okay, so let's take a look at it. <laughs> Some of you guys are probably saying, well, that's jobs created. Yeah, it did create jobs. Who pays for those jobs in the government? That's my uh, E-Trade baby face, you know, the shock. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we do. We pay for those jobs. So what jobs did they really create? Because that just means more deficit. What don't you understand, guys? Seriously, the more government that you have, the less money that actually goes for other funding, such as education, fire departments, things like that. Local. That's local, by the way. The government doesn't. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Look, use your brain. Here's what the president's also not telling you. Did you know? I bet you didn't know this one, so pay attention. Did you know that our budget actually gets increased about 4% every year annually, automatically? 
Yeah. We can, we, they will say that there is no increases. Listen to the wording on this. There are no increases in the budget because it's already automatic. In other words, they planned for it already. It was part of their plan, right? They did, 4%. So that means that our budget is going up 4% automatically, but the president is probably gonna cut it back about 3.8%. Let's see, 3.8% minus four. Ugh. What is that? It's still negative. That's right, it's still negative. This president is lying to you. Now, here's, here, let's do some simple math. Let's talk about interest on what's going on right now. The interest rate per week, ready? Hang on, is $9 billion per week that you and I, taxpayers, and why, by the way, we're not talking about the 42% that don't pay a dime, but we're being fair. <laughs> really? 42% don't pay a dime? And yet they're, they want to tax the, 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 the people making all the money because it's fair. Okay. Anyway. All right. So, yes, I digress. <laughs> all right. So we're paying an extra $9 billion a week. Okay, by the time we actually have the presidential election, it's going to 10. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when it gets down to about uh, 2022, right? If you add the compounded interest on top of that, we're, I mean, think about that, guys. We're taking in whatever we're taking in to pay for our country to keep it afloat, and yet we're paying compounded interest every time. So that means that the money that we actually have coming in becomes less and less and less and less and less as the government grows and grows and grows. And then we're paying the interest on that top of loan. We're going in the hole. Look, there is a guy that's out there uh, that really talks about, you know, getting your spending habits under control. And he says to pay, look, you may have 10 credit cards, pay the one that actually has the most interest against your money off first. Pay a little bit down on the cards, you know, that um, that you have. Well, let's take that. Why, why are we not cutting out the things that we don't need, getting in control of the things that are hurting us the most, meaning the fraud uh, that's going on with our government? I mean, no one's talking about that again. I, I, I Anyway, man, I'm telling you what, guys. It's you and I that need to get a hold of these guys in Congress. This is not about Democrats. It's not about Republicans. It's about us, we the people. Look, the reason why that we left, you know, Europe to find a better place where we can have home of the free and, you know, is because we were trying to get away from the taxation of government. Okay? We're starting to get history repeating itself, except for one huge problem. There's nowhere else to go. We're it. This country is it. There's no uncharted land off, you know. This is it. So either you, for those of you who just haven't figured this out, come to terms that government is never providing a job because we have to pay for those employees, which means more taxes, till you figure that out and start fighting for the United States. Pursuit of happiness all of our rights, our constitution, and all that it means, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. Literally, let me, let me say it again. We're going to lose it if we do not gain control. We're going to become Greece. And if you haven't been watching the news, go look at what the government increased in size, by the way. And they're, uh, what, they're over 80, uh, what, I think it was 72%, 80% of their people who actually work for the government rioting, fires, people are up, uproars, they're uprising, and they're, they're, it's not good. We're going to be that if we don't gain control. If we don't gain control, that means stop the spending. Anyway, I had to bring this to you on Valentine's Day because my heart goes out to this country. I love this country. I don't like the president. I will tell you that right now. The guy is not. He should be impeached because he's going against our Constitution. He swore an oath to uphold our Constitution, and he's going against it. He is actually telling us that we have to do and buy things that we don't want to do. Uh-uh, man. Not in my book. 
I want this guy impeached. I don't want him reelected or not reelected. This guy needs to be gone out of the White House. He could be the smartest guy on the earth. Hey, go teach somewhere, man. Go to your liberal whatever it is and become a, an organizer. Wait. <laughs> That's what he was. Anyway, this is Ronnie. This is me talking to you. Take care of yourselves and happy Valentine's Day, guys.